You're in jail. I feel like. Oh! Oh, you lost. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Sick. Look at this lazy river! You take golden poopies. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna be touring this amazing home here in Orlando. Record-breaking home, 13 plus bedroom, 11 bath. You can sleep up to 43 people Ooh. and it's completely themed um, after games, all types of games, <gasps> board games, video games. As you can see, we yes. have Pac-Man right behind us. This is the 80s retro room, which you'll see a little bit later. Yes, <laughs> but before we begin this video, we just wanted to give a big thank you to Alessa with Orlando Area Luxury Rentals for inviting us out here to the great Escape Lakeside for allowing us to tour this home for all of you. So we hope you enjoy this vlog. Right when you walk in, oh my goodness, so much to see already. You have a huge this reminds me of little the, piano here. This reminds me of the piano. It's not a huge little piano. It's a big piano. Huge it's, little piano. This reminds me of the <laughs> movie, uh, the one where he where where, uh, where he becomes an adult. I think it's called The Big. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I mean I feel like I do. Hey, that's fun. That's I love cool, right? that. Yeah. The entrance to the cinema, we gotta check that out. Hi, two tickets to Jumanji. Wow. Whoa. This is amazing. This place is insane. This is crazy, man. Look at look at the Jumanji on the wall. Wow. Robin Williams, and they have the movie already playing all the time. Are these like uh like the characters from the movie? Yeah, but are these like drawings of the characters? Yeah, There's even like leaves on the roof. That's crazy. Beautiful though, beautiful. This little popcorn machine. That's cool. Right? I like how it's like a step up to come in. You literally gotta come up and then you're in the theater and then it has like the, they had to put it like on a second level so the chairs could be like at an angle. Yeah. Oh man, this is nice. This is actually great. Yeah, right? This is awesome. I love this. Little storage. Look at that. Yeah, they do look very comfy, these chairs. I gotta try them out for myself. So they're actually, uh, they're cleaning the house right now because some people actually left this morning and other people are checking in at four and they're they're actually booked for the rest of the year. Yeah. Which is insane, but so far it's been awesome, right? It's been insane just kind of looking at everything and it, so much detail in, in the house so far and we haven't even seen, we haven't even seen- Yeah, we haven't even gone upstairs. Upstairs, we haven't, we haven't seen much at all, to be honest. And so right out of the theater, we got the Vegas room. We have some slot machines right here. Look at this window looking out into like a resort. That is so cool, man. We have a pretty circular bed. I love that. Headboard back here is insane. Yeah, it's beautiful. Another slot machine, poker table. That is so cool, man. Xbox. So cool. I love it. I love it. Definitely um, not me. I feel like this is not my favorite room so far. No, not so but far. But I really like it though. Very cool. I feel like if you love, oh wow, this is a sick bathroom. Look at the toilet. Whoa. It's a gold toilet. That's like a granddaddy toilet. Oh my God. <laughs> we have like poker champions, poker movie, just oh poker stuff. Goodness. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh my God, look, and then you flush it up here. I don't well, want it's, to it's sealed, it's sealed, sealed right now. So yeah, don't, don't even. Open it. But yeah. wow. That is sick. Good. And this. Pretty nice shower. It's like a master. It's like the master bedroom. You take golden poopies in there. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Theming in here is great, though. Yes, very beautiful. Very, very awesome. Love it. Schlock machining. Come on, jackpot. Giant chessboard. What? Wizard's chest. Look at this wizard's chest. It's huge, bro. I love it. I don't even know how to play chess. Do you know how to play chess? Uh, I do not, no. No? I've never, I'm good at checkers though, but that's very easy to play. This is pretty cool here. This is the largest word search game in the Western world, and they actually have a Guinness World Record certificate, which is amazing. The largest word uh, word search puzzle has 62,500 62, letters and was created by Andrew Greenstein um, at the Great Escape Lakeside Bed and Breakfast Grove, in Florida, USA, as measured on uh, 23rd of December, 2015. That is so cool. That's amazing. Yeah, so you have to grab these little markers over here, and then you have to like find the words and kind of like, you know, circle them and stuff like a yeah, word it's a puzzle. Word search. Yeah, yeah. It's the biggest one. It's the biggest one in the Western world, though. This is insane. Let's see if we could find a, a word. Somebody already kind of. Four. <laughs> what else can you find? Um, ran. Ran. Beacon. Beacons of 
beacons of magic. <laughs> <laughs> Which is super pretty. The kitchen is Big really kitchen, nice. Lot of yes, that's one thing about this house that I love a lot too is that it is a, there's a lot of space. Like we mentioned before, this does have um, 13 bedrooms, so it does fit a lot of people. It says the pursuit of pie is trivial. <laughs> I love that. Stays, Stays together. together. Love that. All the fruit ninjas. Yo, no way, fruit ninjas up there. Fruit Ninja! Oh my god, I used to love playing Fruit Ninja so much. That's great, that looks great. Yeah, and then of course you have your little station, your toaster, I love how they have like Apple Jacks, <laughs> um, little frame back there. You got your Keurig, that's important. Oh, you got two Keurigs, not just one, but two. That's awesome. That's good. Little double sinks. You're basically ready. When when you book this home, you are just ready to just move in here for however long you booked it for. So you got your dining table right here. And in the dining table, I love how they have these little like trinkets in here. So all these games are from different continents. So they have Africa, they have Asia, um, they have Europe and Latin America. They also have these really great chairs here, which is honestly, I love these chairs for our house. Very comfy. Look at this cool chair though. I want, I want to see you try this. You want to see me try that? Yes, please. You gotta like try to lean back. Oh my gosh. So like, is this work? All right, let me try, let me try. I feel like you're scared. <laughs> I mean, I'm just scared I, I might fall. You're something. not, you're not though. I'm really not? You're not though. Okay, can you help me? <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can see the terror in my face. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. <laughs> it's actually really fun. All right, all right, let me try, let me try. I wanna try it. Uh... Your turn. Oh, oh my god. See, I told that you. Scary, That's man. scary. You just feel like you're going to fall back, but you're really not. This is actually very relaxing. <laughs> 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 the physics of this chair is incredible. I want one of these. Right? So after playing around on this little chair here, we'll show you guys a little bit of the, I guess like, you call this like the, the, guest bathroom. the guest bathroom. Yeah, so. It's just a bathroom everybody could use. Yeah, you'll definitely need to go to the bathroom after using that chair and maybe pee yourself. So this bathroom is themed kind of medieval. I love like the frame around the mirror as well. Back cabin established 476 AD. Yes, and I guess like this door leads you to the outside, which we will show you guys in a bit. So right out of the kitchen and the dining area, we have three bedrooms. Um, we have the Scrabble room, Monopoly room, and this is the... Let's go with this one first. Carnival and Boardwalk game. Oh my gosh. Wait. Whoa. I feel like I just walked into like the beach. Oh, look at this. Look at the mirror. <laughs> oh my gosh, they have a freaking fortune teller. My name is Zoltar the Gypsy, and I have some words of wisdom to bring. This reminds me of the movie Big Two. As you travel through this life, remember this. If you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. Go ahead and let Zoltar tell you more. I probably wouldn't stay in this room only because of these dolls. <laughs> these dolls, they're trespassing trolls. These trolls don't have permission to be at the Great Escape. Stand on the opposite side of the bed and throw the bean bags at them. Knock down three in a row and win bragging rights. Please return bean bags to their proper place when finished. It's pretty cute. Yeah, so you kind of just throw, where are the bean bags at then? Over here. Oh, so you gotta try to like. You gotta try to like knock them down. Hey, good job. Yeah, I, I hit them perfectly though. I was hitting them like You were hitting them pretty one after the other. pretty good. Love that. I'm gonna like this bathroom though. And here this bathroom. Oh very beachy. Yes, it, it does give me a big big beach vibe. It's very beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love the fact that it has um like a walk-in shower and then it also has like a tub as well not a lot of homes have such a big tub like this so this is just like perfect for a vacation and for you to relax and you also feel like you're at the beach too so it's such a great escape like this room is is a nice escape from all like the fun and games from the actual house 
And then in here you have um, just like your toilet. What in the world is this? Is this a potty toss? What is this? Oh my goodness, do you like play games whenever like you're taking a potty or something? So look at that. You're even entertained while you're doing your thing. So that is hilarious. That's so funny. It says the potty toss. Sit on the bowl and toss. Get two in a row without touching the rim and win bragging rights. Septic won't matter to anyone. Play it till you're pooped. <laughs> I love that. I love how it says stretch your imagination. Looks like a king size bed. It's very, very nice in here. It's a spin to win. And I uh, yeah. won nothing. I tried it, I tried it. Watch you win something. And you win. One set. You win one cent. Yeah. You get it? <laughs> yes. <I do. laughs> this door takes you out to the lake, which we'll look at it later, but they do have a pool and a lazy river. Oh my gosh. Basketball court and a little soccer field. And this cool ball thing where you knock down bowling pins, but we'll show you that. And it looks amazing, so. Stay tuned. Right down the hallway when you get out of the, uh, the Carnival Games room. Carnival Games we room. Have, we can go in here first. So we get the Monopoly room. It is connected. It does share a bathroom oh, with yeah. the Scrabble room. But this Monopoly room is sick. It has two twin beds, has a Wii for the kids, and they even have Wheel of Fortune on right now. <laughs> oh, so that's you can sick. Play Wheel of Fortune on the Wii. Oh my gosh, look at the closet. <gasps> Whoa, go be a prisoner. Go be a prisoner right now. <laughs> That's it. You're in jail. No. Oh. <laughs> this guy back here. This guy back here is pretty creepy though. He's he's a he creepy dude. Waking up in the middle of the night and he's just staring at you. Dun dun dun. He painted the blinds. Whoa. I never, I never noticed this, but you're so right. Like the blinds connect with the actual wall. It's so cool, and the views you get from this place are incredible. Look at the forest. It's just there. very foresty. Um, it's on ten acres of land, so a lot of wildlife. Yeah. It's 1997. These are these are some vintage carpets. I know. Look at that. All right, so this is the bathroom. It is like it's like a mixture between Monopoly and Scrabble because uh, it is sharing a room with the Scrabble room. So I guess they did like. They themed it with like both uh, both games, which is I thought I thought that was pretty neat. And uh, they have this cool sign here, which is I, I honestly I didn't play much Monopoly, but B and O Railroad versus B O I like that. That's cool. That's pretty funny. How to handle players who have B and O. <laughs> and yeah, I, I really like this room. It's nice. I I do enjoy this room a lot because there is a lot of sunlight coming in. Yes. In the travel room. Just the vibes in here are beautiful. Yes, I know. I love how, you know, it is It is a connected room. Um, so, I don't know if you have, um, maybe if you have, like, parents sleep in here and then kids sleep in there and then you can both share a bathroom. I don't know how that would work out, but, you know, that could be, like, a perfect situation, yeah. you know? Kind of like this is, like, your family kind of station, your area, but... It's very spacious. Very spacious. Very spacious. And they have Scrabble, um, literally professional Scrabble games live here playing all the time, which I like that. Like in every room, they have something on the TV relating to the room. Next to the stairs, we have the Dungeons and Dragons room. Yeah, it's basically a dungeon, but they do have, um, oh, this is great. Look at the artwork what? on the wall. Yeah. My gosh, this is crazy. So you, uh, they do have Dungeons and Dragons right in there, inside of that box. And there's a bed, bed in yeah, here? there's a bed in here too. No way. It's a little creepy, but I feel like that's the vibe. Honestly, if I had this, like, if I lived in a house like this, I would honestly make this little room my bedroom. Yes. It looks sick. This just looks very nice and cozy in here. Yeah, it does, right? And nobody's gonna bother you. Maybe you'll hear a few people coming upstairs, but I don't think that should bother you at all, actually. Time to go upstairs. So we have uh, these nice little, I guess, frames here. It says, enter the war games bedroom at your own risk. There's a bunch of them try to be, um, Baden's score of 12.3 in the laser, laser game. game. Oh, bedroom. there's a laser game bedroom. Okay. Oh, look, they have like a Donkey Kong. Look at the Donkey Kong wall. Oh my gosh. There's even stuff up here. It says, can you escape from the clue bedroom in under 60 minutes? I don't know. Can this, we? This is really cool, man. <laughs> this is so, so nice. Oh, look at all these, these different types of uh, like OG games they have, like NES games, Super Nintendo. 
Yeah, Lewis is the gamer here, so I don't know any of these games. So I don't know. You're you're the gamer here. Yes, I mean these are older games. It's like it's not my generation, but pretty cool, man. I like they even have. Oh my gosh, there's an arcade room right right in, right in here. Entertainment what? right when you walk in. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this. Dude, there's a it's a game show. This is lit. There's <gasps> a game show studio. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is so. Wheel cool. of Fortune. And like you could control it from here, so I guess you have like a host. Yes. I'll click here to start. <laughs> it's like a U. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Come on down. The price is right. This is growing. All the rooms are around us. All right, where do we even start? All right, so this is the operation room. Operation room. This is welcome to the operation room. Attention all staff. When triaging patients from the war games room, take no risk. risk. You got it. Oh my gosh. Like, they even have the guy right here. I wonder if this really works. It probably does. Let's see. It does. <gasps> what? All right, you be careful there. Oh, I messed up. All right, I got his heart out. It's, it's actually so accurate. Oh my. Do you hear the noise? Yeah. It sounds like a hospital. Six bunk beds here. And then they have then they have the closet. The best operation is cooperation. <laughs> I like that. Look at the bathroom. They have uh first of all, the theming is great in here too. Yes. Oh that's sick. What Look is at it that. Say? First aid. And then they have like all a bunch of different actors from like different hospital shows. Oh my goodness. Stop it right now. This is what is it, Doctor Doctor Dreamy? Where's Dr. Steamy though? Come on. Okay. You gotta get Dr. Steamy in here. Is that Dr. Steamy? That's not Dr. Steamy. But yeah, I guess he's steamy. Steamy. <laughs> <laughs> so when you come out here into like this like main area, obviously you have some pool here, so that's fun. What are you doing? Sorry, I was doing this. Oh. He's playing Plinko. Let's go. <laughs> Hey. Hey. <laughs> um, so when you guys go in here, you should be good to go. You can open it. There's going to be a little blue thing on the wall. Swipe your hand on that and then try to get to the other light on the wall, but you're going to see it turn on. So. All right. Cool. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. No Thanks, Alessa. No By the way, <laughs> shout out to Alessa for giving us this opportunity to come <laughs> on. Here. Yes, absolutely. It's all thanks to Alessa that we were able to come and tour this home for all of you guys today. So thank you. Shout out to One Little Spark for doing a killer job. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, my I, gosh. This is spooky. It is a bit spooky, but you'll have to swipe your hand there, and that's what will. But I would suggest standing back a little. Oh, look at the lasers. <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. So you have to get through this. Okay. Oh, my God. Am you want I me to try? To do this? <laughs> How in the world? I feel like. Oh. Oh, you lost. <laughs> I lost. Did I lose already? Yeah. Dang. Oh, all, right. all right. Let's try. <laughs> Let's try. 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 let us try Oh man, that is hard. That first one is really hard. Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright. This is harder than I thought. I gotta go at this differently. Oh my. What? Oh no! My shirt! Alright, I give up. I'm tired. Here, I'll get Look the Look at how rest. crazy it looks inside, though. Watch out, watch out. You're gonna hit the one right in front of you. It's right on top of you. You see it? Good job. This bathroom looks like. I love that the mirror is kind of crooked, um, but I feel. I mean, like is that part of it? Honestly, it could be. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> um, yeah, this is. I love the tile in here. It's Check really it nice. out. 
That's cool. Tron, yo. Yeah, I'm that's excited for Tron. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at this curtain. This curtain is uh, very sparkly. Next up, we got the Pac-Man room. Oh my goodness. 80s video game. So it's the 80s video games room, not just the Pac-Man, but mostly Pac-Man. So right when you come in, they got a Pac-Man machine. Oh my gosh. They have Super Nintendos. Dude, what? This is sick. Wait, what is this? This is a... I don't even know what this is. I have no idea what type of console this is. Somebody let me know. What is this? Gosh, I'm so 21st century. <laughs> I love how the bed is shaped. It's shaped like a Pac-Man. Like Pac-Man? Dude, look at the theming in here. Look at the ghosts on the fan. Wow. Look at the bathroom. The bathroom, you know, I love bathrooms. This bathroom is insane. Look at the tiling. The detail. It's the tiny details that make this place so special. Wow, this is this is amazing. This is probably my favorite room, the 80s video games room. We haven't uh, seen them all. We so. have not seen them all. I don't even know what this room is, but it's it's just so awesome going into each and every room and seeing what the theme is. So this is... Oh, I guess this is... is uh... What game is this? I have no idea. <laughs> All right, we have to read this. Mind games. All right, I've never played this before. Do not draw on walls. Do not draw. Okay, oh, these just, are like the things that Cracker Barrel. Yeah, the things that Cracker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this that. is just mind games, like mind puzzles. Look, Simon. 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 <laughs> this is awesome though. Look at this. I think I like the vibe in here a lot though. It's very bright. A lot of sunlight coming in. And you also have the white sheets. Yep. So that helps out. Oh yeah, the bed looks fantastic. Yeah, you have um this. A Rubik's Honestly, cube. Comment down below if you're ever if you were ever able to um figure it out. I mean a lot of people were. I think I did it. I've done it twice. Yeah, I mean look, this is all green here. Yeah, somebody was already working on it. I'm more about this. Yeah, I'm not too great at it either. <laughs> and then they have uh some stuff on the roof. On the ceiling, sorry. Says, Johnny's mother had three children. The first child was named April. The second child was named May. What was the third child's name? Oh. July? December? December. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. I like that, like a Rubik's Cube painting here. This is very nice. Cheat code archetype. This is very nice. I love the choice of towels that they picked here. Very colorful in here. I feel like I'm in a Lego movie. We're right across the mind games, that's the 80s video game room. Literally right across we have war games. This is where we did the laser. We kind of jumped into the laser room because it just looks so cool, but yeah. now we're going into the war games. This looks pretty intense. Honestly, this door, this door in general just Lewis looks amazing. Lewis loves war games, so I'm gonna let you take over this by, by the way, there are video games literally in every room. You got the little you got bean an, bags? You got a Wii, oh yeah, little bean bags. We got a Wii U there, an Xbox. Uh, I think that's the Wii U as well. Even like Turtle Beach headphones, which is amazing. Very cool for kids. I feel like there's just something for everyone to do here. They have everything on this. Look at that. Let's get into the war room though. So the lights are on already. Oh my gosh. A demerit list. Warning. Enter at your own risk. Wow, this is sick. I knew you'd love this room. Oh wait, are they... Is this, this is Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty's just playing on the TV. That is so sick. All right, now I'm like debating which is my favorite room. This is a crazy room. Oh my gosh, look at that, look at that tank up there. Man, look at the, look at the curtains too. It's like, oh my gosh, this is so creepy. This is awesome, man. Look at the beds, Call of Duty symbol right there. Wow, this is amazing. I'm like speechless, man. The theming in here is amazing. You sunk my battleship. American flag tissue box. You know, can't go wrong with that. So this is the last room up here. Drawing game. So every door has um, basically the name of the room that you're gonna enter. It's like the theming of the room, which is awesome. I love that. Yes. So here we go. Cranium, Pictionary. They have like uh, dry erase boards and it says solve me. So you have money, $100 bill, apple, pie. Six more bunk beds. Man, this place sleeps a lot of people. Two bunk beds with three decks. Yes. Yeah. You can tell the upstairs area is for kids. Obviously it has the laser room, the video games. Right outside the game room you have this amazing balcony. Overlooking the lake. Wow. And the pool area which we'll show you a little bit later. Absolutely incredible though. This is... 
This is quite the view. You even have, look at that, the twister. Another another twister thing right there. Yeah. Some chairs out here to chill. So great to kind of, if your kids um, are just out there in the pool, you could be up here kind of relaxing and then you could still take a look at them while also taking a look at this beautiful view. So it's awesome. This is very relaxing. Hi, I'm Andrew Greenstein. I made this place, I own this place, and I still love this place. We work hard to make sure that everybody who comes here doesn't just have a fantastic time they'll always remember, but also that they come back year after year and that everything is perfect. Even if they don't like a mattress, we check on them the next morning and we'll bring them a new mattress. It's like a resort, but it's a vacation home and you don't need to go anywhere else. The entire place is an experience unto itself. It's definitely a, a nice escape from the theme parks and you still have so much entertainment. Why, like, why, why even go to the theme park? Why go to the theme park when you well, have this beautiful home? Because the theme parks are freaking amazing. <laughs> but, but a lot of parents find it stressful. There's like the lines and the heat and all that. And yes. it's bringing, because you could sleep 43 people here. And so to get wow. 43 people to a theme park is a lot of work, time and money. And like, I know I love the theme parks, but if I bring more than like, the right two or three people. I don't have as good of a time myself. Yes. I like small groups with just like my close family. Yeah. Absolutely. Like all the uncles and cousins come and everybody has an agenda at the theme park. Yes. So yes. But regarding this place, it's just, this is like, I think if you spent the whole day at an amusement park and then you came home sleepy and just went to bed after like an hour, you would miss all the stuff here. Yeah. So people actually come wanting to try the escape room and all the different games and the scavenger hunts around here. Yeah. And so this is the resort that they choose, the vacation that they choose. This escape room is so hard. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm also just not someone who's like super great at escape rooms. Yeah, neither am I. No. Yeah, I think they're difficult and like this one, like the intricacies of some of the puzzles, really awesome and people who love escape rooms would like love this i would just need like assistance from people who are very good at escape rooms same to escape. <laughs> <laughs> same yes. same i'm so not good at games or anything i feel like you would I, do I it i'd be pretty good at it but yeah an hour is so long no but you can like <laughs> like also when you rent the house like you have it for as long as you yeah want. exactly so, like, right it's just like the goal is an yeah. hour, but you take as long as you want exactly. and then like also if you just want to cheat like you can you guys are like, ooh, trying to find the murder. Yeah. <laughs> Spooky. Um, <laughs> so the doors, um, when they close, they both will lock. So they can, you literally like, the only way to escape is to either like get the code or you can use the cheat book. I would suggest not using the cheat book though because it's lame. But <laughs> anyway, it's always there. The other option is to jump out of the window. But again, <gasps> I don't, they're unlocked so that if you have to, you can. But these, this one locks and then in this room, this door locks as well, so both of these rooms are like what you guys would use to play the game. Um, there's going to be six cards in the house that, like in this part of the house, that you'll be able to find without unlocking anything, but the rest of the cards you're going to need to unlock stuff, but let me show you the first step you need to do if you want to play the game. When you go to an escape room, usually you have like a game master there, and that game master will like prompt you on the storyline what you need to do it. so Alessa's cheating she's using the cheat book I am cheating we're trying uh, <laughs> we're trying to get out of here because we're stuck no I'm just kidding the doors the doors open <laughs> hey, the door's not open what are you talking about? hey we're hey stuck in here. we're stuck come on <laughs> mm, yeah. there's another, a card another clue that is so cool there's something about the books oh something about the books yeah, so there's some, like, you'll find a card in here, but then there's more stuff on, like, this door that will, like, help prompt you to find another clue. Um, and there's stuff even, like, the way that the times are on the walls that would prompt people to, like, find a new code uh, and stuff like that. So, wow. So much very fun. intricate. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very Look at the bed sheets, too. All right, so we have made it to the, the grand finale. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's amazing. Look at this, look at this kitchen area out here. <laughs> you can literally cook, you cook out here. This is awesome, they have a fridge, sink. Is that a dishwasher? Mm -hmm. Let's look at the one staring at the Oh okay. my gosh, that scared me. That's a that's an outdoor dishwasher. You also have um, a fridge. grill, a mini fridge, a grill. Oh, the grill's shut. Shut right? off grill after you. No, it's just heavy. Oh, okay. Love that. Wow, you that's have amazing. Some aluminum foil there. Some beautiful tables here. Yeah, these. Oh my gosh. So, is this um? I guess this is a game too. Oh, I oh, guess like have, you have, roll the dice. Yeah, they have like card games. They have Jenga. 
Very awesome. Look at this lazy river. You also have a slide. We did hear from Andrew, the owner of this home, that the slide does go very, very fast. Now we're kind of sad that we didn't bring our swimsuits because, you know, we we could have we could have gone down the slide. We got tons of chairs here, so if uh, you do invite a few more people over than who are staying you know you have a lot of people to sit nice little seating area over there you have lots of other entertainment areas outside you have human bowling right here so i guess uh you kind of get into this this ball you get inside this ball and you gotta knock down the pins so lewis is gonna try this out oh my gosh i need to see this you're not it's doing wet. it's all wet in there yeah. All right, never mind. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but it's all, uh, you know what? We're you know, once, once, once you get into the pool, maybe you could try this out, yeah. and then you could go back into the pool, and then you'd be good. I think it rained last night, so yeah, there's like a puddle in there. You could also take out some kayaks. They have some kayaks ready for you to go. Um, the owner was telling us that people love fishing here, so that's also awesome if you want to just have, like, you could have a great time inside with all the stuff that it has inside and all these fun things to do outdoors, but you could also hang out at the lake, take the kayak out, go fishing, chill by the dock. There's even a little alligator. See you later, alligator. All right, guys, so we're gonna leave you guys here for today. Again, thank you so much to Alessa for uh, just bringing us out here and for uh, just giving us the opportunity to show you guys this amazing rental home. And uh, we wanted to thank the owner for being so nice and uh, so hospitable yes, for allowing definitely. us into this beautiful home. Absolutely. Again, we're going to go ahead and link the website to Orlando Luxury Rentals down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out. And we're also going to go ahead and link the website to this amazing house, The Great Escape Lakeside. Just to everyone that uh, made this video possible, we appreciate you guys. I hope you all enjoyed seeing this amazing house tour and I hope you get to stay here soon. I hope you know this is ignited a little spark in you to come stay here it always starts with that one little spark and we'll catch you guys in the next live stream or vlog bye